that uh, we'll be talking about understanding our emotions uh, the basic uh, structure and understanding uh, which takes place of our emotions and in the second part uh, pranita will be talking about how we can uh, actually go ahead and manage our emotion and also deal with them uh, so we'll be starting pranita can you just move on to the next slide please yeah so uh, uh, when when we thought of that you know we want to talk about emotions because emotions like uh, we think that they are like a really very important part uh, of everyone's mental health and um, this is this is one quote which we really wanted to put ahead uh, to all the people uh, who are attending this webinar as well as everybody else uh, so basically uh, if you go through the quote it uh, quote it said that let's not forget that the little emotions Uh, are the great captains of our lives, and we obey them without realizing it. And uh, this is an amazing quote, which was written by a very famous Dutch artist. Um, and it truly explains how powerful and strong our emotions are, and what exactly can emotions do to our uh, emotional uh, health as well as mental health. Uh, like same. Uh, can we go on to the next slide? yeah so um speaking about emotions uh let's first understand what exactly emotions are and what exactly goes on behind the word emotion like we we have always heard the word emotions in our day to life day to day life but from a psychological uh, perspective or um as far as i have known what exactly emotions are i would like to uh, introduce you all to emotions so emotion is difficult to de define actually speaking but it is always it always consists of feelings behavior uh, physiological change and uh, etc i know emotions are a big part of life for all of us in in any day we experience many different emotions that come are with, are always come with their intensity either some of them are high some of them are low so and some of them are also easy to deal with while others are really very very intense and difficult to manage also the most important thing uh, which i feel uh, to understand about emotions is that they all have a purpose uh, you know so they are designed to give us give us some information and um, and i would call them as emotion messages probably so these messages are uh, supposed to bring our attention to the most important things that are happening in our lives whether it is a big event uh, just to give an example if it is a big event like a uh, birth of a child or even something smaller and more day to day events such as having a small fight uh, with someone this intense feeling of love will tell us that we need to care for a child whereas on the other hand uh if we talk about anger uh, in the situation where you are having a fight with someone else the anger tells us to avoid the situation in future so it will always depend upon the intensity as well as the positive if it is a positive emotion or it is a negative emotion so um most people are naturally comfortable with the good emotions than with the negative emotions or as as people call them as bad bad emotions we could say so uh, however i uh, i would like to put for this point that there is there are no such thing as a good or bad emotion uh, all emotions have a helpful role to play uh, you know so they can be pleasant or unpleasant depending on the uh, circumstance and the event in which the person is uh, but the problem is not the emotion being a positive or negative emotion the problem emerges when we uh, get so good at avoiding our emotions then we lose the access to the important function or the important background which they will be playing in our lives so this is this is a small gist about what exactly emotions are so if if anyone has if, if anyone wants to know anything else or if anyone has any doubts uh, you can just you know put 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 your messages or put your questions in the chat box if that's fine shushrut and then we can answer them probably later Sure, sure, no problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll go ahead. Uh, Pranita, next slide. Yeah. So uh, when we talk about emotions, uh, this is this is uh, this wheel has has a lot of uh, I would say it 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 gives you it analyzes your emotions. It 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 helps you to analyze your emotions even more. in a in a proper manner i would say so we deal with so many emotions every day and hence uh, we are often are unable to accurately label our emotion at that moment uh, 
so in order to effectively manage our emotions which we which pranita will be talking about in the next part uh, this part uh, we we sh- we must first learn how to accurately recognize them so if you are not able to recognize which emotion uh, you are feeling at that point then it is very difficult to go ahead and actually manage uh, that emotion or get control on that emotion so what some people do is that some people try to ignore their emotional reactions and then this leads to you know a build up of emotions inside you and um, it of course creates creates a negative impact later in life and some some of the other time it will it will bounce back in life the result of this denial of one's uh, i would say emotional uh, one's emotional experience is a lack of self uh, self knowledge as well as uh, it is the uh, like i would say it is the impaired ability to use one's emotions very productively so to begin to use our emotions effectively uh, we must first slow down the emotional process so that we have the space uh, to investigate what is happening from the place of a um, uh, i would say like a mindful observer and once we are able to step outside of ourselves uh, wherein we, it is it is actually very enough to uh, examine what our emotions are trying to tell us then we are in a better position to make healthier decisions uh, the the process cannot be directly uh, to ma- start managing your emotions to do to reach that step the first important step is to, is to actually acknowledge your emotions understand which emotion you are facing it and then you can probably move on to the next step so this is like a, a really uh, long procedure but if if done accurately then 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 it helps us uh, then it helps us a lot and uh, also i would like to add one more point over here that recognizing your emotion uh, it requires complete honesty with yourself uh, if it feels like it is too frightening or too difficult to admit the truth uh, behind what emotional process it uh, process you are going through then it is uh, quite difficult to make you know assessment like accurate assessments on of how you can go ahead and the important thing to remember uh, is that once you're completely open and honest with yourself about what is going on for you internally internally uh, then you are i would say you are you are free to make Uh, more healthier choices and basically detach from your old uh, problem or uh, old pattern of reacting to situation it will change your overall perspective now talking about uh, this uh, the blue chicks uh, wheel of emotions uh, in psychology this this uh, wheel of emotions is uh, really really helpful and so we thought of uh, why not including it in uh, in this seminar today because as it is we are speaking about emotions now a uh, psychologist uh, robert kluchik was a great psychologist and um, he gave uh, in the wheel if you if you can see in the wheel there are seven basic emotions uh, which are joy surprised bad uh, pure full angry disgusted and uh, sad now this framework uh, actually helps to bring clarity to emotions which we can sometimes feel are very uh, probably i will say very overwhelming or are very mysterious at times because we cannot judge what what emotion we are feeling so this uh, wheel of emotions is a tool that enables people to describe and um, probably verbalize their emotions as well as to understand the relationship uh between uh, between the emotion and the intensity also of the feelings they are uh, experiencing at that moment uh, yeah uh, now uh, people can use this this wheel uh, the wheel to identify the emotions and they can also come to turn with how they are feeling at that particular event or uh, that particular situation and on the basis of that they can uh, they can ultimately become more self aware and more uh self compassionate and uh, it would also increase very um it would increase the uh, decision making also and they they would eventually gain closure as well so now i'll just uh, i'll just give you an example looking at the wheel of emotions so when you look at the wheel of emotions if you see the red part which is the anger uh, which is the angry uh, part uh, of the wheel uh, you can easily say that the angry part is subdivided into more uh, more uh, i would say secondary part now the primary emotion here is angry whereas the secondary and the tertiary emotions are uh, if you if you would just um, uh, zoom into it and then you you might be able to read it properly now when for example if a situation arises 
uh, then uh, if a situation arises wherein you are really very very angry then how will you split up this procedure like how will you split up that what exactly why is the main reason i am angry so in the in this wheel of emotions you can exactly do that by step by step so now if you are angry then you can then you can see what exactly might be the reason that you are angry angry you are let down are you humiliated are you is there anything is there a bitter experience are you mad at somebody or some something in specific are you aggressive frustrated distant or critical what what issue is it exactly you can in this manner you can um, you you can actually break up the uh, term of angry and then you can look into more basic terms or more secondary terms and then uh, the 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 feeling or the emotion of anger anger is is even more clear so when when you tell somebody that i am angry but you don't understand what exactly you are angry about in fact you don't understand if if at all you are angry or is there some other emotion which you are uh, putting forward as anger so in this way the plutchik's wheel of emotion not only the uh, uh, negative emotions like anger and uh, fear pull but it has all it also has a positive emotions like happy surprised so it is nothing like that that it has only negative emotions you can combine both you can see at what exactly uh, what exactly emotion what exact emotion are you facing and then you can easily elaborate your situation then you can think okay so this is not what i was feeling actually this is this is not the exact label which i should give for what i am feeling at this moment uh, so this is the whole motive of the plutchik's wheel of emotions uh, next uh, next slide printa Uh, so often, uh, often we are asked this question uh, as working in the uh, working in this field. We are often asked this question of what exactly are emotions and uh, how can you defer them with feelings? Uh, so I would just like to um, just uh, tell you exactly explain what exactly is the difference between the emotions and feelings. Now, um, emotion and feelings are both traits uh, we share as humans. So they are they are equally um, uh, equally present in every individual in every human being. Uh, but the difference is that feelings are both emotional expression and physical sensations such as hang, uh, such as ha uh, hunger or I would say pain, uh, which bring about feelings. So these are feelings. Whereas on the other hand, emotions and emotion can only ever be felt through the emotional experiences. So it gives rise to even though it might be discovered through its associated thoughts. So you might having be a thought or a belief or a desire or any particular action. So this is the main difference between the both. Now, you know, emotions and feelings play a very powerful role in how you experience and interact with the world. Because, of course, they are the driving force behind any behavior um, might be helpful or unhelpful. They are always, they, they are the driving force behind it. And eventually, uh, they uh, even if we don't agree to it much, but the emotions and feelings together always lead us to do things in the heat of the moment. So we might not even realize this, but in the heat of the moment, emotions as well as your feelings, both of them are equally responsible to um, anything which you are doing at that moment. But uh, if if we make an effort, you know, to exactly identify and differentiate uh, differentiate them, then it becomes really easy to modify them. And emotions. Um, I would say are are very powerful. Uh, if you try to if you're trying to change them or uh, you know or if you're trying to um, uh, give them a meaning or something like that, then emotions are very very powerful. While feelings aren't that intense. So if you go step by step, then eventually you can always uh, come at a very basic level of emotion. And next time in the next situation when you face such a situation again. Then you can easily, uh, with ease, you can manage the situation along with your uh, emotions and feelings both. Uh, next slide, Pranita. Yeah. So, uh, what are emotions trying to tell you? 
Uh, so we've seen that over um, thousands of years, uh, human beings have evolved to, uh, to experience a wide range of emotions. Uh, emotions, and each emotion uh, has a different message to put forth. Now these are designed to make us respond in a, you know, uh, I would say in a particular scientific way. And often these responses are very automatic and are uh, subconscious in nature. I would say this is because uh, they want us to react very quickly like i said in heat of the moment to what is happening to what is happening at present uh, i would like to give you an example here which is a, a typical example of fear uh, we have evolved so much to automatically uh, uh, feel fear when we detect danger and fear usually encourages us to try and um, eventually we escape that situation so this this is the human nature which is which has been built up over the years and now this is not the case only for fear. Um, you can also see that there is happiness, there is anger. So there are there are always uh, these things in our mind which are which are um, I would say there are boxes uh, wherein we know what exactly to do when there is fear, when we are fearful, what exactly uh, we should do when we are happy, and what exactly we can do for anger. And these are not the only three of us. We just try to bring up the main things here but rest rest emotions also deal in the same manner everyone has an individual um, set of box uh, to response uh, to give response in a particular way uh, next slide panita <laughs> uh, shruti yeah? uh, i just read in the chat that someone uh, has a question and an example like is it okay if they share it right now oh uh, yeah 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 go ahead yeah, so um, it's Saki, right? So Saki, please turn on your microphone. Uh, actually, I wanted an example about the feelings versus the emotions slide. It's uh, it's a bit confusing. Um, the second side, the emotions versus the feelings that side. Like I'm having a bit of okay. understanding. Okay, 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 okay. See, uh, what what I, what I can do is, uh, see, emotion. Uh, if I I'll, I'll try to explain it in my own layman's term, uh, emotion. When we talk about, uh, I would say these are very physical state uh, of mind, you know, and these are um, like. I don't know how to put it in words exactly, but feelings are basically very, uh, when you talk about real mental issues, not mental issues, I would say, but uh, these are very, um, emotions are, you know, quite powerful. And as I, as I gave an example of hunger or pain, you know, so that is a feeling which you uh, express. That is not an emotion. Uh, emotion, uh, on the other hand, for pain would be something I would, I would see from the blue chicks uh, wheel of emotion. I'll I'll see that and I'll then get back to you again uh, to describe what emotion we can link to the feeling of hunger or pain or pain. Is that fine? Is, can is I, that fine? Can I possibly suggest uh, an example which I think uh, it will help me and you understand both? I think. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, please, please go. Ahead. Uh, can I share an example? Uh, yeah. So I think what uh, I understood is emotions uh, which affect because of an external stimulus. For example, an external stimulus can be anything. Uh, for example, uh, given the recent uh, pandemic and all the bad things happening around in the world, those are external stimulus. So what they make me feel, so can we call them emotions? Like uh, the corona pandemic is making me feel emotions such as oppressive. Could that be it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It can be definitely. Yeah, yeah. It can be. It can be. Uh, however, these emotions are very powerful. You know, so uh, while while feelings are not that that powerful, they are they aren't as intense as emotions. I would say. So, uh, if it is like if it is associated with your with your thoughts or what actions you are doing it, then it then it definitely is an emotion. Otherwise, it is just a feeling. And um, th like it's an emotional experience, and once you once you are done with it, it will go away probably. However, emotions uh, they stay with you, and they need really a lot of work to um, actually come in terms with. Um, hello. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, this is Siddhi. So I have another Hi. example. Yeah. To uh, precisely understand the difference between feelings and emotions. So feelings yeah. are more of a physiological thing. Like you can feel a hug of a person, mm -hmm. but what you feel while 
the 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 feeling that you have or the thought that is going on in your mind while giving yeah. someone a hug yeah. is yeah. your emotions so uh, yeah. while shruti is trying to explain that you know um feel emotions are more powerful i think what she means is that even yeah. after yeah. you are done giving a hug you come back home you will yeah. still have you will still have that feeling in your mind so when the yeah. feeling is is making changes in your biology mm. that is when it turns into emotion so emotions last but feelings yeah. Yeah. are temporary so yeah, after yeah. you done giving a hug the warmth that you feel yeah it it, it goes much. away you can't have it forever but what you feel the emotion stays with you even even after you remember the scenario Okay. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Emotions, emotions are basically, uh, you know, uh, you you can't easily um, feelings are something which are less intense and um, they they probably won't last for long. But an emotion is something which you will probably are uh, getting attached to someone. I would say uh, would be more of an uh, emotion, and the feeling why you are getting attached to them might be a feeling. Right. Great. I'm just going to answer again then. Great. So, uh, is your question answered, Sakhi? Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you so much, Shruti. You can continue now. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. 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 So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Uh, next slide, Pranita. Next slide. Uh, Pranita. Next slide. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so. Um, i would say uh, and just adding to what what she said before because that is still in my mind uh, emotion is all emotion what emotion does is it is always to trying trying to get your attention so if you don't listen to it it will keep trying it will keep trying to uh, make you realize okay this this is what exactly you are feeling and you are labeling it as something else however what we can do is if you recognize that emotion if you recognize the emotion which you are feeling then the i i wouldn't say that the emotion will go away easily but then the intensity of the emotion can actually reduce by itself so basically acknowledging acknowledging something can definitely reduce the intensity of that emotion now the next time uh, that you find yourself either or uh, detached or overly detached to your emotions during an interaction with another person what you can do is you can take the time to mindfully observe yourself in the moment notice your emotions as they arise without any judgment just keep on noticing your emotions uh, begin to go through the uh, through the steps to recognize your emotions after the event so once you become uh, become really good using these skills you will be able to uh, actually mindfully identify your emotion uh, emotional reactions and um, then you can alter them into healthy responses uh, in that moment itself or uh, what exactly hampers this is that we ignore our emotions when they happen we we think acha we 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 think about it later or you know i don't have that much time to give importance to the emotions this is the first main thing what happen the second is we try to bury them or we try to suppress them uh, internally and uh, we think acha this is not not really important at this moment of time we we might think it i might give it a thought probably some days later or, or when when exactly when need arises now there is no need to uh, look into it or the third most uh, most uh, which which i have uh, personally seen in many of them uh, is that we misidentify misidentify them for example i would like to give an example here uh, that uh, we think we are angry on someone for x y z reasons but uh, we are actually really frightened about something so that fright turns into anger and eventually you burst out on that on that person so it is it was not exactly why why we were uh, why you were angry but uh, the fright has eventually turned into anger and uh, it has it has went into a very reciprocal of emotions and reactions i would say and one big part of the emotional awareness is being able to name your emotions and tell them apart ki uh, this is and this this is this emotion what i'm feeling right now is this and not this so in this situation what we can say is that right now i am i am frightened 
and hence my the way i am responding to is anger but i am not actually feeling anger this is just this is just what i am i am putting forth on the person but it is actually not at all anger 